What is up, YouTube? We are back with some more DBFZ. And today we are facing... Who are we facing? A hit base coup and sell. Oh, damn. This is a good team. Nice and unique. Don't see too many hit players nowadays. Base Goku, top tier anchor. He's going to be some problems. And sell, great point character. Also, good on mid. As we all know, mid point. Somewhat interchangeable. But today, what I wanted to discuss was the big UFC card coming up this weekend. UFC 259, I believe. It's with uh, Izzy and Jan Blachowicz. Going to be awesome. Izzy going up to light heavyweight for the two belts. Jan with his first title defense. This is going to be an interesting fight. Um, most people expect Izzy to have the advantage on the feet with his striking background, his kickboxing record, um, and just his overall performances in the UFC. He is a top tier striker, man. I love watching that dude work. Just absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I dropped the fucking... I didn't believe my hits. But yeah, but Jan, he has that goddamn Polish power. That shit is no joke. Absolutely no joke. One touch can put your lights out for sure, no doubt. So we'll see what happens. Izzy, I imagine, gonna be on the outside trying to dictate the pace, use some fleet some fleet footwork stay on the outside and uh, just pick him apart and search the opportunity for the uh, for the finish whereas Yawn he has a few options actually he could grapple which uh, most would believe to be his uh, best path for success however um, he does like to strike and with that power he can Make it make the fight go in his favor at any moment. Honestly, um, he's, he's a slower paced fighter, so I'm curious to see how he deals with the speed advantage that Izzy has going into it. Definitely want to see what uh, what tricks and what his game plan is going into the fight. So we'll see. I'm curious to see if he does mix in some takedowns. Most would expect him to do so, um, given his superior grappling on paper. Anyways, he has way more takedown attempts than Izzy does. However, Izzy's takedown defense is nothing to scoff at. I think it's like above 80% in the UFC. And if he gets taken down, he doesn't stay down for very long at all. Um, so I'm curious to see what happens with that. The thing is, all his takedown defense so far, although against some really um, credible grapplers at 185, they are smaller than Yawn, definitely. So we'll see what the, what the weight has to do with... Um, how Izzy deals with the grappling exchanges. Striking wise, they're about the same height. I, and I know Jan's like a lot thicker than uh, Izzy is, but with the reach, I think Izzy actually has a slight reach advantage. So I don't think the size difference is going to matter too much in terms of the striking. But with the um, with the grappling, it can make a, an absolutely huge difference. So we'll see what happens with that. And then another fight on the card, really exciting, is the bantamweight title bout between. Um, Piotr Jan and Aljo Sterling. That's going to be a good fight. Yeah, I'm big fans of both guys. Both guys are really good for the division. Um, Aljo, his grappling is just uh, second to none in the division. He's like the Habib of that division. Once he gets your back, <laughs> have fun trying to get that dude off you. Um, and then Piotr Jan just has that Russian toughness. I don't know what the hell they put in the water over there, but those guys are just made of different material. In the human species, you got like everyone, and then you have Mexicans and like the Latinos, just like slightly above everyone else in terms of toughness, and then just slightly above them, I would put the Russians. These guys are just such beasts, everyone. I don't know what it is about them, if it's their training, their upbringing, whatever it is. These guys do not play around, holy. And Jan is just absolutely fantastic. He's got Chris Boxing. I like his striking form. Most of the time when he's not falling over his punches. Usually he's doing so though to put on pressure and cut angles and get his head out of position. But uh, really good boxing for the division. Good kicks. Good clinch. He's just really well rounded. Tough as nails. Strong. And uh, he can put the pressure on for an entire five rounds I imagine. We saw him finish... Jose Aldo in the uh, the fifth round, so we know that he's good to go for all five rounds. Slower pace, he doesn't like to fight at a super fast pace. He's got like a really Thai boxing style centered pace, so um, it'll be I'll be curious to see how uh, Aljo decides the best course of action is to deal with that. Um, 
we all know eventually he's going to be looking for the takedown, but uh, when he decides to do so and how he sets it up is going to be the biggest factor. I imagine he's going to try and stick to the outside, utilize kicks, keep the distance, stay out of Yon's power with his punches, and then look for the takedown. And I imagine Yon's going to try and, I don't know, maybe chop the legs, put on pressure, just put on pressure like he always does, stay in the pocket and uh, wear and tear on uh, Aljo until the... Um, until he breaks. Oh, this guy is... What's going on? Is he AFK? Has he given up? Was my power too much for him? Nah, he's still fighting. He's still fighting. I think Nunez is fighting on that card as well. Um, what is it? Megan Anderson? I don't even know who her opponents are half the time when she goes into fight. I expect her to win. That is the female GOAT. One of the GOATs of MMA in general. Regardless of gender. She's just... Absolutely phenomenal. Wow, sparking super dash. I did it again. Now I gotta clip that in. <sighs> Scrubs here. Now my base KG is dead. Scrub movements, ladies and gentlemen. Scrub movements. This is what happens when you take a break. But we're gonna get some damage on this hit. I dropped the extension. That's okay. But yeah, newness fight. Not too excited. The thing about newness fights is that like we always expect her to dominate, so it's so hard to get excited. Like, the last Nunes fight I was really excited for was the Cyborg fight. And that was an absolute banger. Oh my goodness, what a sick fight. I did not mean to get that kick out there. I did mean to do that, though. So yeah, I expect Nunes to win. I'm not too excited about that fight. I know that uh, Tiago Santos oh, is fighting Rakic. Rakic, I don't know how to pronounce that name. I'm sorry, Rakic. Um, he's been looking really promising in the division. Who did he fight last? Was it Anthony Smith? Just absolutely dominated that fight too. He's really big for the division. Light heavyweight's in such an interesting place because once John Jones left, that division is just truly up in the air. Like I have no clue who um, the standout contenders are. I feel like anyone can take it on any given night. Bell's probably going to be switching a lot. If anything, Izzy is the best, uh, the best bet for the division. So we'll see what happens um, with this fight this weekend. I don't even know what his plans are. If he intends to stay in the division. Um, we'll see, we'll see what, how, uh, the lay of the land after this weekend, but, um, super curious to see how things go at light heavyweight. I don't have a prediction for that, for that fight. Um, I haven't seen enough of Rakic. I know he's good, well-rounded, really strong, really athletic. Tiago Santos is an absolute beast. Um, he had a great performance against John Jones. Phenomenal performance against John Jones. So, um, good striking. I, I don't know what his last fight was out, but he didn't look all too impressive in his last performance. I don't know. He, was, From what I remember, he was really hesitant, didn't want to pull the trigger. Um, I know he has like a like a slower paced high style of fighting, but um, we'll see. We'll see what Tiago shows up. I'm curious to see uh, what happens. But yeah, if you any UFC fans... Um, Make your predictions for this weekend. Let me see, see them in the comments below. I'm curious to see what you all think. Definitely excited for the card. UFC's just been firing on all cylinders as of late. Just this past weekend, literally, uh, I'm recording this on Sunday, so last night there was uh, some good fights on... Um, I don't even remember his name. The heavyweights. There was uh, Rosenstruck versus... It starts with a G. Something with a G. But he's looking real nice. Um, I like his striking for heavyweight. Really technical. Variety of techniques. I, I love seeing heavyweights at the world kicks. You never see it. Uh, oh, this is canon. Don't like that. Um, <laughs> never see a lot of heavyweight store te throw uh, kick techniques. So he's got good kicking techniques. Mixes it up. Body kicks. Round roundhouses. Uh, elliptical kicks. Front kicks. Definitely curious to see how he fares against the top contenders. We have to see what happens with Stipe and Ngannou. In the rematch, um, I don't know how much longer Stipe plans on fighting. He could still do it. He is technically the best in the division by far. Um, but we'll see what he plans to do and how he fares against Ngannou. It's it's crazy to think that with Stipe's resume, how good he is, and all the things that he's done in the sport, you still just can never be too sure about betting against Ngannou. That dude is on. I don't know, another level with that power. It's absolutely ridiculous. So we'll see what happens with that fight. I'm definitely excited and definitely curious to see how <laughs> heavyweight fighter whose name that starts, last name that starts with a G, um, fares in the division. I'm curious to see his future matchups. So uh, 
yeah, a lot of excitement happening this weekend. A lot of excitement going on in the UFC. Very curious to see how things shape up. And excited for the card this weekend. And about to finish off this fight. Ooh. Plus frames with good old Beerus. You gotta love it. Well, that'll be the end of this video. Uh, I'm gonna find some some uh, competition, some higher level competition for me. Because uh, I seem to just be washing this guy. So I will catch you all later. Enjoy the fight. And um, have a good week. Peace. Oh, and make sure to like, subscribe, share, and check out some music. So